Say something. There's no words. You might be wondering why we have the trailer hooked up. And that's because we have a big surprise today. I'm so excited. But I want to tell you before Colin gets here. Do I want to tell you? We just have a secret. That's all. We have to drive to Idaho to go pick it up though. And Colin has no idea what it is. Oh. He packed two pairs of socks and underwear, I think. That's all he needs. What's all this stuff for? Is this going? Where's this going? Huh? Where's this going? That's going up to Alan's too. He just needs help fixing something. What are the eco flows for? What is the winch for? What's the water jug and fluids for? It's yeah. in the box. Rudy packed all this stuff yesterday. I hate when people ask me questions because I am the worst liar ever. Well, good morning. We are heading up to Idaho to go visit Alan from Yankum Ropes as well as, who knows, do a couple other things. We are going to Idaho. We're not going to go visit Alan from Yankum Ropes. Instead, we're going to pick up my little brother's dream truck and it's a surprise and he doesn't know about it. He's been looking for this truck all summer and he's been working really hard to be able to buy one. I already got him one. We just have to go pick it up without him knowing. And here we go. All ready? Yep. So we've been driving for a couple hours and we're finally in Spanish Fork. We're here for lunch. These are Carolina Reaper almonds that we picked up from the gas station. And Colin's gonna eat some. Three? This is worse than getting a shot. <laughs> I've had a lot of shots. Two, one. Ooh. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I gotta grab some cheese. <laughs> oh crap. Okay, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, let's bump it up. Five. I'm not doing that again. We're lost. We're just trying to find our Airbnb, that's all. That's all. We need to have a sit down. Tim Hortons or something, or I'm surrounded by fellow Canadians to back me up. This is the hardest, like, city to navigate for no reason. That's all. Colin still has no idea. I convinced him that we came up here to pick up a demolition derby car because the bed of my truck looks like this. And if you're wondering if that's enough to fool Colin, it is. Pretty common thing for us to be doing and for our trucks to look like this when going to a derby. I'm excited. You wanna tell us what we're doing today? So today, I think we're gonna go get breakfast. We're gonna go get a backpack for yours truly. Go see Alan, and uh, yeah. So we're here at O'Reilly's because we got to pick up some parts before we head to where we're going. They're not open yet. So you know what that means. Favorite color? Blue. To pick one vehicle. 1963 Chevy C10 short bed two wheel drive. Dang, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Very specific. Why that truck? Because they did it right in 1960s. Tell me the story of, of your leg. How, how old were you? What year was it? I was 11, 2015. Man. So there was two cars lined up parallel. And I was a jump starting the back car. And the driver accidentally put it in drive, hit the gas instead of the brake, and 
pinned me in between the two cars with my leg in between them. <laughs> Cut it off, basically. So is that a fake leg? So this is my real leg. They did reattach it. Everybody said that I wasn't gonna keep my leg. There was no way I was gonna have to have a prosthetic. After Colin's accident in the shop, he was life lighted to Primary Children's where as soon as he got there, he went under a 12 hour surgery just to save his life and his leg in the process. Say so Rhett and Carter and Rudy, Colin's doing some of his exercises and he wanted you to see him. But he's doing his exercises and he's doing really good. Hi Rhett, hi Carter, hi Rudy. They ended up doing the surgery, reattaching it, and now I have it. Run, said that was never gonna happen. Walk, keep up with people, said that was never gonna happen. I've got a whole bunch of hardware that has been in my leg, outside of my leg. Hoping to do something with this someday. I wanna build a shifter for some truck made out of the metal from my leg. But we could be here for like 45 minutes of me telling the story. Oh, also, I have like six and a half feet of scar. Why are we at Walmart, Colin? We're here to get my punishment. For what? Losing the race. Janelle's a sore loser. Just kidding. Oh, I see it. I wonder if I could rock one of these. Just a sport. It's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, we need something different. No, that's yeah. good. This is good enough. Well, I guess I can put my phone in it at least. Finding everything okay today? Yep. Looking great, Colin. Thanks. Okay, so we're at the gas station in Nampa, and Colin still has no idea. We're about to go to the guy's house to pick up the truck. It's gonna be cool. Excited? I'm excited. Be fun. Getting there. Yeah. <laughs> Real close. Almost excited. Colin? Excited. You look good. Yeah. What are you excited for, Colin? The day to continue. <laughs> oh. Everything. What, what was no. the mouth, <laughs> mouthful you used this morning? A 1963 Chevy C10 short bed two wheel drive. Why that kind of truck? Because they're just beautiful. <laughs> you take them, you put them on like an 80s frame. Lower them just a little bit, a little bit more than stock. Yeah. And then put an LS in it, bam, you got a burnout truck right there that looks classy. What's your What's color that you're going after? Uh, patina, like rusty paint. 1963 truck. What did you see, Colin? I saw a 1965 C10 back there. So, the 63 has the knee knocker cab, that's the one that I want. I feel like this is the place you would see one of those trucks. With the C10 sitting next to it. And <laughs> What is that? What is that? That's uh... Nice fanny pack. Thank you. Very stylish. This is very 2022. Favorite color? Blue. It's complete, it's all there. No way. <laughs> I would take a while. That would take a while. Say something. There's no words. What color that you're going after? Uh, patina. No way. <laughs> Holy crap. Thank you, Rudy Case. <laughs> no way. Shaking bad. I wanted one of these before I graduated high school. I wanted to drive one of these to my high school graduation. 
I think it might happen. I'm so lost. That's so cool. Nobody's gonna believe this. No problem, That's man. Awesome. My goal was to take one. I wanted one to drive to my high school graduation. Mm -hmm. I graduate this year, and I hope I, I want to get it done before then. And We'll fix it. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been this fortunate when I've been towing trucks on flatbeds. I've always had to push them up by hand. <laughs> well, I'm kind of in the recovery business. I want to build a shifter for some truck. You guys lied to me. So we are going to be driving this thing home for the rest of the week. Yes. I can't think of a better week. <laughs> There's only one port. This thing doesn't have brakes anyway. Still water in there. Or some. There's moisture residue. Look how much area there is for activities. We're talking about V8 here. Everything was adding up to build a Derby car too, to go through all the heats and stuff. Like I wasn't, I wasn't questioning anything. Is there any fluid in it? No, for sure not. I've seen worse. I will say that. The fact that there's not dirt in it makes me really happy. Overall, it's a pretty happy truck. I should be happy to start up when we try. Well, we got Colin. We surprised him. It did surprise yeah. me. Yeah. How, did you have any idea? Not a, not a clue. This story isn't over. Keep an eye out for the next video of when we get this truck running. But, oh, thanks for watching. That was a good one. That was telling him. Thanks for watching. Oh, say that again. Thanks what? for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I think Idaho's rubbing off on you. Fine, here. Jake, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Hey, Rudy. Yeah. You don't even have to give me a Christmas present this year. I wasn't planning on it.